Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Ross of the Gabbathia here to talk about the Super Bowl, but from a photography and rant standpoint. On the Super Bowl, you were watching the commercials and the game was pretty lame, but one of the biggest stories that stuck out to me, obviously, was in the creativity, photography side of things, and it involved Kevin Durant. If you've never heard of Kevin Durant, the photographer, there would be a reason. It's because Kevin Durant is one of the biggest names in the NBA, and there he has no background in photography. And the real reason that this really kind of gets me about this, and I'm going to hear you guys' goes reaction through this as well, so comment below after you hear about all this. But ESPN, other sports outlets, even Petapixel picked up this article. And essentially, Kevin Durant, a NBA professional strictly only, there's no photography portfolio, there's no professional link to it whatsoever. He was given a 7D as a birthday uh, present. That's really his only link to it. Just because you have a camera doesn't make you a photographer. But, you know, in breaking this down, the Players' Tribune is an organization that gets celebrities to go out and document big events from their point of view. So they give someone, uh, you know, credentials, access, full access to the game. It's for them to go shoot, do these videos, behind the scene, blog type stories for them. So that that is their purpose of this. And they obviously chose Kevin Durant to do this. Now, this is no of no fault to Kevin Durant. Of course, you would never turn down this type of event. It's probably one of the biggest sports events that you can have, especially within the United States, with the exception of like the World Cup, the World Cup and everything, you know, outside the u.s internationally but everyone social media went crazy over it as i even said like espn talked about it one of the best shooters he's attempted to do another kind of shoot petapixel even picked it up it, it, to me there is a lot of issues with this i'm going to show you a statement he made about this and then some of the shots that he did with this game and i'll link everything down in the description below but my thing is was this is that this angered me and not because i want to stifle someone with photography it's just because of who this screwed over or the you know, once in a lifetime access it would take for the other, per, an actual professional photographer or someone in the sports industry than just someone who has a celebrity status. I really think that that's wrong and unjust and uh, pretty unjustified and unethical in that route. It's great that to get it from someone else's point of view, but this is a very important game. A lot of these shooters don't have the access because that's just how it is for this once in a lifetime event. And because they aren't famous, they're not going to be able to get this opportunity. And that's straight shit to me. So this angers me. He doesn't have any affiliation with photography of any kinds of sorts. Once again, he is a fantastic, well-accomplished NBA player. He's done a lot in his life. He does a lot of charity. But in regards to photography, there is no link to it whatsoever. And this is very important. Only certain few photographers really have gained the professional status from this and shoot professionally, if not more advanced on the side to being from the Major League Baseball. Ken Griffey Jr. shoots a lot of sports and Randy Johnson, who does a lot of travel and uh, uh, event type of concert photography on his sides as well. So they've earned a lot of this status. They have a portfolio and everything to back it up. So it just annoyed me that a lot of these companies, you know, picked this up and ran with it. But Kevin Durant, he even it was even noted that he didn't really know what he was doing for the most part. He was just kind of taught basic things. So my thing is, he should have been granted access, which he obviously was. But a professional who knows what they were doing should have went with him to maybe mentor him throughout the process. And it should have been you know, through his eyes, but this is a whole learning process into actual sports photography. So I think it was just gone about completely wrong. And I hope the Players' Tribune... Note, notates that in the future and hopefully it's not just me here but basically this whole thing is he's now has a camera so now he is a professional photographer so looking at some of the work he actually didn't do a bad job and he was just given basic tips and but he didn't follow a lot of the credential type systems and everything but you can see there is some lack in quality in the work and it's just because he doesn't necessarily know what to look out for but once again that's no fault to him it's just this company kind of screwed someone else out of the opportunity he got some of the action. The framing wasn't always the best. You know, this isn't necessarily a bad shot. Um, you know, it could be better. It's cool. Yeah, you know, behind the scenes stuff, anticipating the action. And then uh, one quote here that he said is another thing is I'm learning how tough these action shots are to get. Completely true. They really do happen uh, so fast. It's hectic following the action and then checking your settings in between plays. But the professional really knows how to lock this in and they won't miss a shot. The biggest thing that Kevin Durant learns is that on a certain level, he didn't know until this night, because a professional would have knew this, is that sports photography is hard work and takes a lot of skill and focus in a crazy atmosphere with a lot of distractions. And you can check out all more of the photos in the description below at the Players' Tribune website. Um, and, and, you know, here's Kevin Durant here. But, you know, to me overall, 
it was just handled wrong by this organization and by the NFL. Should have been handled more professionally to actually get a photographer with him. If not, let them get this access over someone who makes a shit ton of money, a stupid amount of money for playing, you know, a sport. He's earned a lot in his lifetime, but let someone else get this opportunity. And he tried to, he learned to anticipate, you know, I'm going to try and look for just running plays on all this one time and all these passing plays, but realize that he kind of missed some moments because he didn't know how to react to things. And that's one of the big issues right here. And a couple of things that really got into me is, so I posted this on my Facebook. I reacted to this. I'm going to blur out some of the names, but I'm going to show this one key conversation that I think it's worth noting. So someone responded, the player tribune asked him to go and take photos. What's wrong with that? He was credentialed. I responded, credentialed or not, he had to be to get this access. He, I, he had to be, but overall, he is not a working person professional in this industry he's a basketball celebrity let someone else who's working in the profession get this once in a lifetime access but then the response was but that's what this publication of players tribune does they ask a player to give their special insight into super bowl and it just so happened to be it just so happened to be that this was the event and that this wasn't them giving some opportunity that they were dicks about and choose a celebrity the whole basis at their uh, operation is having celebrities pretend to be writers or in this case photographers but they're it, it doesn't work like that. It's not like they took a spot that was going to be for someone else that they created just for Kevin Durant. How do you know that? How do you not know that they hold that? And someone responded is, when you say that they didn't take a spot for someone else, you're telling me that no one got denied credentials, other professionals to get this. And then they responded, obviously, I can't speak for the credential system, but, you know, possibly that could have been wrong. Overall, I just think that this was handled the wrong way. I think that this should have been someone else. I'm kind of beating a dead horse here, but tell me your thoughts down below to me this is a little bit of a a big deal celebrities should known run the world they have too much power too much money for no freaking reason